Let's go to CNN's Christy Lou Stout, who joins me live from Hong Kong. Good to see you, Christy. So more than 240 million travellers expected across China during this May Day holiday. What does this signal and how is it likely to play out? Yeah, this is massive, Rosemary. This is China's first May Day Golden Week holiday after the COVID-19 pandemic, and tourism is surging in Shanghai. Tourism authorities there say that the city has received over 3 million visits from tourists on Saturday, the first day of this five-day-long holiday period. And in Beijing, I'm going to show you this footage. Massive crowds have descended upon popular destinations, including the Great Wall of China. In fact, on Sunday, more than 14,000 people visited the Mu Tianyu section of the wall, which is located just north of Beijing. And you see throngs of visitors there are walking the wall. They're at the entrance quite a number of them waiting to queue for the cable cars that they have available at the Great Wall of China. And if you want tickets to the Bada Ling portion of the Great Wall, good luck, because tickets are sold out for May the 1st and May the 2nd. And meanwhile, in Macau, we have this footage to share with you. In Macau, hundreds of thousands of Chinese tourists are crowding into the world's biggest gambling and gaming hub. This is an area known for its restaurants. It's known for its shopping areas, its glitzy casinos as well. And this tourist surge is coming after those COVID-19 restrictions were lifted in January, opening the door wide to visitors for the first time in more than three years. And if you talk to business owners and talk to tourists in Macau, especially, the buzz is back. Now the customer's flow has recovered to around 60 to 70 percent of pre-pandemic levels. So we are very busy. Compared to during the pandemic, it's much more fulfilling and there is less worry. To be honest, I feel that the vitality of the pre-pandemic period has really been restored with the crowds of people and bustling atmosphere. I haven't seen this for a long time. Now, many places across China have seen a record number of passenger trips by air and by rail. In fact, railway stations across the country are crammed with domestic travelers. And according to state media, over 240 million people will be traveling during this five-day holiday period. Rosemary. Wow, that is close quarters there. <laughs> Christy yeah. Lou Stout joining us from Hong Kong. Many thanks.